Hi, my name is Marcus and I'm just testing out the new firmware update for the Hover Air X1 camera. This is firmware 2.200 and had some substantial updates such for instance vertical shooting. So what I wanted to do is for the global Hover Air X1 community and also for the Hover Air X1 owners club test this quickly out by just comparing different modes this one is the first one it's just hovering and it's hovering in um, landscape format at the moment what i'll do is i'll bring the hover down put it back up switch to vertical mode and then we can have a look what the footage looks like with that see you in a minute cheers Hello again, we're now in the follow mode, portrait format, sorry, landscape format, keep messing this up, in, in the firmware 2.00 of the Hover Air X1 and it gives you a bit of an idea what this looks like, I'm doing exactly the same in a minute, whoop, was a tweet away. In a minute in vertical mode just so you can compare and contrast what the footage actually looks like see you in a minute cheers hi there hover air x1 firmware update 2.00 this time we're flying in vertical mode which is what all the social media guys seem to be liking so much obviously it's a huge update for people who want to create content such as this one You've got your flying cameraman following you around, no problems whatsoever by the looks of it, and you get an idea what the footage looks like, hopefully. There's a tree in the way. Um, no problem, tree behind me as well. So, good idea, hope you enjoyed that. i see you with the next flying mode in a minute. Cheers. Hi again, it's getting a little bit windy here. You can probably see this already, all the grass and stuff is moving. Um, in the old-fashioned landscape format and once it's come back i'll switch over to vertical and we try that as well see ya hi there same position nothing changed just the uh, shooting mode now switch to vertical so you get it let's see what that looks like everything else has remained unchanged hover is coming back after that i will be doing probably the orbit hi again we now with the Hover Air X1 new firmware, old-fashioned format, landscape uh, in orbit. Uh, I think it's six meter, you can see it in the screenshot, just one circle. Note there's also new in this firmware update, you can select, I think it's 1080 uh, or 1060, uh, which basically means three times going all the way around you now I quite like that and I'll tell you in a minute why hi again six meters orbit this time with the vertical social media friendly format now there's something else in this firmware update 2.00 which means you can switch to three times orbit in one go some people might like this I do a lot of outdoor training and demonstrations and as part of that I like the idea of having three times as much time to explain something to guys like you and others because this is almost finished and I'll see you soon. Hello again, so we're now in the bird eye a modus fly mode. Uh, this one is a landscape, you can see it's also rotating. I don't know if you're aware, but if you go in the app settings, you can actually check if you want to, it's just going to rotate. It's coming back now and once it's back, I'll show you exactly the same one same position in the new social media friendly vertical mode Cheers. hi folks out again same flight same place bird eye vertical flying mode in the new firmware update to see what that looks like cheers and 
where she's coming back. I've got no idea what the capture looks like in the vertical, so I shall be looking forward to that as well. Now, of course, another one we haven't tested yet is the dolly track. This is the one you will be familiar with, which is the um, landscape format. You had that on the old firmware version. Let's see if I can... Well, actually, the drone wants to go this way. Let's see if I can get it a little bit around me. And obviously, you have to learn these movements. Actually, it seems I've got better with the new firmware as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's see if it switches off when I stop. Okay, same position. Everything unchanged. The only thing that changes now in vertical mode in the new firmware version and using custom dolly track. Now it seems to me because it's quite windy, I don't know where the drone is actually going. Let's see if I can get it over to this side. Nope, it's actually doing exactly the same. So I should be able to maneuver a little bit around and then push it a bit in front of me because there's one tree here which you might see coming around the corner in a minute. Let's see if it stays here and how stable it actually is. So far, given the wind that you can see, quite happy with it. And it sort of keeps trying to push back in front of me. So it would seem that as part of this new firmware update 2.00 for the Hover Air X1, they actually improved the AI algorithm as well, because previously he might recall one of my earlier videos when I've done that, the drone actually tried to and, and did move around me and ended up in follow mode. So far, this hasn't happened here, so I'm quite happy with that. Let's see if I can turn it around again. So if I do this, it would be quite fast. Still in front of me, and let's see if I can actually get it back. So what it does, oh, not yet, it's a bit of catch the drone game. So now I'm probably at the best angle for it. Moving forward, it does speed up as well, which is great. And it's almost in straight line. It does balance out the wind on either side, which is great. So the dolly track to me seems to have also improved and I'm really, really happy with what I've seen so far. Let me see if I can turn this into a follow mode or what it does. So if I go faster, nope, it actually keeps doing that. Very, very interesting. So let's stop, bring it back and I hope you enjoyed that little update on the new firmware. It's really worth updating both your drone as well as um, your app on the smartphone. You might have to go to the Google App Store to do it. So one thing I wanted to share with you as well is in manual mode, which I'm currently flying. When you fly this in manual mode, it doesn't seem to me that you can actually adjust um, to vertical. I haven't figured this out yet. There's a settings button on here. If I go on there, I can't see any vertical on here. So it would seem to me manual mode is probably the only one that hasn't got vertical mode integrated yet. And that would per make actually perfect sense to me simply because in manual mode, I guess you're much more unlikely to film for social media. You're filming different kind of uh, sceneries and landscapes and you know you can see what's on here now so maybe they haven't implemented this just yet maybe it comes at a later point in time but all in all really really good get the firmware update get out hopefully you get a little bit better weather than this but it's not too bad and hopefully you enjoyed it see you later guys take care bye